Shooting video on a DSLR usually requires a few extra pieces of gear to get it right, especially if you're shooting something outdoors like a wedding or a festival. Here's a quick guide to get you up and running. Hey guys, Mia here. Shooting an outdoor event with a DSLR will give you the freedom to get nice shallow depth of field shots and give your footage a cinematic feel. However, DSLRs are not equipped with the video extras you'll find on most cameras designed for video. There are certain accessories that you can add to enhance your image, audio, and stability. We'll touch on those, plus go over a few items that can make shooting in bright light and on long days much easier. For example, Neutral density filters are typically built into many video cameras, and if you're shooting outside in bright conditions with a DSLR, they are essential for capturing footage with a shallow depth of field. Why? Let me explain. A fast prime lens is a popular way to get that cinematic shallow depth of field look. Usually an aperture of f2.8 or faster will get you that classic out of focus background with sharp focus on your subject in the foreground. But on a bright day, it's difficult to shoot at that wide aperture without blowing out the image. Often you can't raise the shutter speed enough to compensate for the aperture because then your motion will start to look choppy and unnatural. So this is a problem that you will experience a lot if you're shooting outside with a DSLR. The good news is, the solution is a fairly simple one. A neutral density filter. I recommend a variable or fader ND, like this Tiffin variable ND. This filter will gradually darken as you turn it, providing anywhere from two to eight stops of ND. So you should be able to find a stop that works for your specific lighting conditions. To buy the right filter for your gear, you'll need to know the thread size for the lens that you're using. When it comes to capturing beautiful, shallow depth of field footage outside, this is an accessory that I cannot recommend highly enough for DSLR users. Now, since you're using fast glass, good lenses are obviously very important, but aperture isn't the only consideration. There are a few lenses out there that have features that can make your life a lot easier when it comes to shooting video. Two great features to have for shooting video are a lens with a declicked aperture ring and image stabilization. A declicked aperture ring will allow you to seamlessly change the aperture value while shooting. This lets you make smooth aperture adjustments on the fly when lighting conditions change without inducing sharp, noticeable jumps in the exposure. Image stabilization is important because for event coverage, you'll be moving around a lot. Even with a rig, which you will definitely want if you're shooting without a tripod, IS can make all the difference in keeping that jerky home video look out of your footage. IS is especially crucial when you're shooting at longer focal lengths, and if you're shooting in an outdoor venue with a stage or crowds, a long zoom lens can be key to making it look like you're up front, even if you can't get there. This Canon 70 to 200 millimeter can make it look like you're immersed in the crowd. Even with the right lens and ND filter, it can be hard to see how to adjust your image outdoors using the LCD. Many of the LCD screens are highly reflective and it's all but impossible to shoot video while looking through a tiny viewfinder. One investment that you will be thankful you have every time you shoot outside is an optical viewfinder for that LCD. This shields the LCD from light and has an eyepiece for you to look through, which magnifies the screen. It's perfect for framing your shot and checking focus. This Kinotechnic viewfinder snaps right on the back of your camera once you attach the included frame. The eyepiece even comes with a strap, so you can leave it around your neck and just snap it in place when you need it. When you can't find any shade to shoot in, this little device will make your job capturing the moment so much easier. Some events require you to navigate through crowds or capture immersive angles of the action. If you're going to be moving around and want to ditch the tripod, a rig may be the next piece of equipment to consider. A simple three-point shooter should do the trick unless you're working really long hours or using a heavy lens. Then, switching to a shoulder rig can take a lot of pressure off your arm. But for most events that require a few hours of shooting, something with a hand grip and a shoulder brace are key. This Genus Tech shoulder brace kit is one of the most affordable rigs available and it has a modular design, making it easy to custom fit the rig to your body. 
The design allows you to distribute some of the weight to your body so that your arms are not bearing so much of the burden. It's called a three-point shooter because you have three points of contact, your shoulder, grip hand, and the other hand can reach up and hold the camera itself or make lens adjustments. What this rig does not have that some of the more expensive ones do is a quick release plate. So if you want to move the camera from the rig to a tripod or go handheld, you have to unscrew it from the base. In many cases, audio is just as important as your video. Capturing crisp, clear sound on the tiny built-in microphones on any DSLR is impossible. Assuming you're not recording audio to a separate device, you'll want to make use of your camera's mini jack input. An on-camera microphone like this Rode VideoMic Pro is a lightweight shotgun option. A compact shotgun like this will pick up clear sound from the direction that it's pointed in. It'll work well in event-type situations where you want to set the scene of the environment with some natural sound. Make sure you're monitoring your audio levels on the LCD and headphones if you can. That way you'll notice if wind is an issue. If you're outside, you'll need a windscreen at least, and maybe even a fluffy dead cat or windbuster if the breeze is strong. That should dampen the wind noise considerably. As an option, B&H sells the microphone as part of a kit that includes an RA windbuster. Finally, now that you've added a few accessories to your DSLR, you'll need a way to cart all of this extra stuff around. Here are two bag options that will work well for outdoor event coverage. A backpack is obviously the logical suggestion because it allows you to have your hands free to work, but the size and layout of the bag should match your gear load and style. This Rugard Outrigger 65 DSLR backpack is designed to hold a camera body with an attached 70 to 200 millimeter lens. It it can also hold up to four extra lenses and a few accessories. The inside dividers are detachable and can be reorganized in a custom design. There are also several front organizational pouches. The outrigger is heavily padded to keep the gear safe. The larger backpack I have here is the Low Pro DSLR Video Fast Pack 350AW. It's designed to carry a large DSLR, a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, and a few extra lenses or accessories. But what I like is this large front panel pocket. If you're using a modular rig like this Genus Tech, then all you have to do is twist one thumb screw to detach the shoulder brace, and both pieces of the rig will fit inside this top pocket. The Low Pro has a pouch for a 17 inch laptop, and it features a hideaway waist belt for extra support if you need it. They both have tripod attachments that can also secure a rig and rain covers. The real key to choosing the right bag for you is to look at your gear and decide the most comfortable way for you to pack and carry it. I hope you enjoyed this brief look at a few accessories that will make capturing video of an outdoor event on your DSLR a success. I'm Mia McCormick. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. Scott Kelby here and welcome to this quick tour of our online training. We have hundreds of online classes for you covering everything from lighting to landscape photography. From portrait photography to sports, we have classes on wedding, Automotive photography, shooting, food, fashion, travel, you name it. The most incredible part of this is the price. You get all of this for just $199 a year, or you can pay monthly for just $24.95. 24 hour a day, seven day a week access from anywhere in the world. I invite you to join with us today and start learning right now.